Guys, get your special socks and girls charge them batteries because the new Ranch Sim update has come out and it's on the Unstable branch. And today we're going over the cats and dogs tutorial and how to buy them and how to take care of them and the basics on that. Alright guys, here we go. Let's get started. First thing first. You need, to about, you need to know about the cats and dogs. And they will wander uh, around like animals. The cats do, especially. Um, because you can't whistle a cat. The cat is there as an aesthetic. So you're going to want to have a pin. Or if I'm, um, you have a house, maybe stick your cat in the house. Also, and um, uh, yeah, so you want to have somewhere to put your cat. Because if not, it's going to wander off and it's going to die. It's going to starve to death. So yeah, um, have it somewhere. Maybe even put it inside. If you, if you have like a cow pin or a a chicken coop. Chicken coop be kind of cool. Be kind of cute, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anything like that will work just fine. Just as long as it's close to its food and water bowl. And that distance is less than three foundations. Uh, I've been confirmed by the devs on that. I asked them if it was the same distance. It says not as long as the three foundations. I don't know what the full, what the exact distance is. Uh, but we know it's not long enough to let them roam around. So... But before, before we start, we need to start off with a pin then. So we're going to start off with uh, something over here. We can grab uh, some fences. You know, basic little uh, kennel here for the cat and the dog. And it's becoming apparent to me that you cannot build a dog house on a foundation. It has to be on the ground, which kind of sucks. Not going to lie. It's kind of stupid. Now the uh, dog house, I believe, takes 20, uh, 20 wood, yes. Now with the dog house, what you can do is, uh, you can put your food bowl next to the dog house anywhere. And the dog, uh, if it's not f being whistled to you, it will actually go back to the dog house at night. Kind of like how the chickens do with the chicken coop. Alright, now we have uh, a cat pen and a dog pen. I can probably make that a little bigger, make it a little better, but uh, this is just for demonstration. So, we're going to head to the general store and think of, get the cat and the dog. The uh, food bowls and the food and the water stuff we need for that. So let's head on over to the general store. All right, here we are. Now, first thing before before you even buy the uh, cat and dog, we want to get the stuff we need and get that taken care of first, because you'll see why when we get to that. So first, we need a uh, water tank. If you don't already have one or don't already have a well, and then we're gonna need a uh, steel bucket. Or a small bucket or a wooden bucket, either way. Then we're gonna need uh, two food bowls, and we need we'll grab a couple of pet food and a collar package. I'm not sure how much, how many collars come in each pack, so we'll have to find out together. Check out. We we'll get everything lined up, ready to go here. Uh, find everything. Oh, it's getting dark. Uh, anyways, yes, we can get everything ready to go right here. Under seven, there's seven collars in each pack, so yeah, you only need one of those. And by the way, these uh, these pet foods do not fit in coolers, in case you're wondering. All right, now we'll grab our uh, cat first. It's the hardest one to find. Let's grab let's make it a white cat so we can see it easier. One hundred dollars. Purchase you. Check out. So grab that cat before it runs off. Come here, kitty cat. Come here. There we go. All right, cool. As you can see, I'm going to uh, add a first person. You can hold it. You can uh, R to hold R to pet it. Press R to pet it. And it purrs and stuff. It's kind of cute. Useless, but cute. And we'll place the cat down right there. Shouldn't leave. Close that up. Now we'll buy the dog. What kind of dog we want to get? Let's see. Uh, Cow. Uh, that count right there, Dutch Hounds, uh, Walt Waller, and uh, German, Shepherd, German Shepherd, why not? $200. Where's the dog at? There he is. He spawns on the other side of the thing right now. I'm gonna put the little white marker on him and hit H. Now he's following me. Alright, now what you do is you get in the car and, and it, he will get in the passenger seat. Uh, sometimes it depends on the car where he sits at. This is where he sits for this little cart thing here. Um, if it's in a truck or a car, he'll sit in the passenger seat uh, straight up and look straight out the front door. So we'll head back down to the uh, back to the ranch and we get everything set up and show you how all that works. All right, we're back. Now the first thing you're gonna want to do right away, we grab the dog. We're gonna um, uh, bring him over to the doghouse, and you know, you can have uh, yeah you want to have him whistled on you when you do this. Assign, press E to assign dog. 
and he's now assigned to this house. At the end of the night, if he's not whistled to you, he will go back to this dog house and stay there. So, we'll keep him whistled to me for now. And uh, in fact, I'll show you, um, uh, put this right here. I'm gonna drop you here. I'm gonna grab the uh, cooler, put you there. Grab this other food bowl. Now I'm gonna bring this food bowl over here. Put it right here next to the, the thing, the pin. Now I'm gonna uh, stand over here and hit H on this food bowl. Wrong button. There it is. Now the dogs can bring me that food bowl. Now this can be great for um, our early game when you're having to do wood. And uh, you don't have to walk a long ways to get the logs that you've already chopped down. You can tell him to whistle to you and he'll bring everything to you. Now the dogs do get glitched on things very easily. Foundations, uh, everything. Anything that gets in the way will stop them. The uh, best way to fix that is to jump into a car and he'll jump right back in there with you. And he'll bring him out of whatever glitch thing he's in. So, whatever state, glitch state he's in. So we're gonna bring you over here, put you right here, just so we can keep you right in the middle. It'll be easier to fill the uh, fill that up with. We're gonna grab the uh, the food. Now each food has 20. Um, so this is not going in cooler. I'm assuming they did this because of the glitch with the fertilizer. I bet they probably uh, uh, foresaw that. You know, be trying to break the game. Uh, for example, if you this also the water on these, uh, you have to manually refill them with water the windmill does not work and I've tried a couple of little hack things to try to make it work like the sprinklers or places this next to the cooler see if that would connect it does not it is on its entire separate line of code does not access to anything so you have to manually fill it grab the food get 20 food we're gonna fill this up and it's gonna fill to uh you know you have to get real close because right now as of right now in the update, they've shortened the range of your uh, character inter interactions. Um, but they said they're going to revert that back because there was a huge backlash in Discord. So uh, when the public version comes out, that part should be omitted from the update. Alright, we've got five food in there. We're going to put five in here before I put the cat in here. I'm going to bring uh, you. Now I'm going to bring him in here. I can get him in here. I'm gonna close this uh, gate here. I can get him in. Get, get him in here. Oh no, no, come here. Zippy dog, zipping around. All right, come on. Now the uh, lower reach is gonna make it a lot harder to do uh, gate maintenance uh, for sure. Now I'm gonna uh, hit H on him, and he should unwhistle now. I think he's still whistling. And right, now he's not following me. Alright, cool. Nice. Now he's staying in his little pin. Let's grab the cat. Well, I, I, I didn't do the water yet. Let me close that door right there. Cat can't get out right there, so we're good to go. I'm gonna grab the water. Refill this right here. Uh, I want the large bucket because it holds more water than the small bucket. It won't have to refill as often. Now this is gonna be interesting right here because they lo again they lowered the uh, range for uh, interaction, so refilling um, simple things like this makes it a little more uh, uh, painful. So we put this right here. That's ten. That's seven out of ten. We need uh, more water than that. I'm gonna move this uh, bucket up there. Uh, this uh, cooler over here uh, because it'll be a lot easier to uh, access from this angle than the other angle because of the gates. Grab the, get real close up to it. <laughs> Grab that, place it down. All right. Now I'm gonna finish filling this cat bowl up. And we're gonna start filling this dog bowl up. All right. Now that is full. Cat food, cat bowl, cat food. Yeah, sorry. Cat and dog uh, food and water bowls are full. So we're good to go there. Now we leave this food here if we need to refill them. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, we have to, we got to name them. I forgot about that. Let's name these guys, shall we? All right. What, what are we naming them? You just press, go up to them and press E, and then you choose the name. It's like when you're doing animal tags. Dog meat. Some of y'all might know that reference. Not the same color as the cat I'm thinking about. We'll name them that though, anyways. Why not? Sassy. Some of y'all might know that reference. Some of y'all much older, my age, would know that reference, but the cat is not that color. Anyways, 
Yes, so it is dark now, of course it is, because that's how this game works. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much, uh, we're gonna go over this video, and say, and say bye, buy them in the general store, make the pen for them, make the doghouse, put the food down, water, all of that. Um, if you put them in a regular house and wander around, just put sporadic food bowls around the house, pretty much. Upstairs, downstairs, one in the living room, one in the kitchen, that kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they will not eat off of other food troughs or water troughs. They will only eat off of those pet bowls. Another thing that has been confirmed by the devs, I asked them that, and they said, nope, just the pet bowls. So, yeah, you gotta re just refill those constantly. Um, well, I don't think they ate a lot, but if you let them get away too far from those bowls, they will die. Or get eaten, you know. Either way die some starving or being eaten I don't know. Either, either way it sucks I mean I mean if it was me I think I'd rather starve than get eaten alive I don't know what y'all think about that I don't know uh weird um, um paradox been going down anyways uh but yeah in the future videos I'm I've been going over uh there's a lot of things a dog can do besides just fetch it can actually fight wolves and bears for you I'll be doing some testing my, myself on how to do it uh how effective it is what it can take, how many wolves it can take down, it can it even take down a bear and does it just help you or something? It can also revive you, by the way. You can die and it will revive you, so I'll be trying that as well. Uh, look for, not tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be in Biloxi at the uh, Disturbed concert with, and following in verse. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, so, won't see any videos until Sunday, which I'll be doing, that'll be the first video I do on Sunday. There's the Power World tutorial I want to do, a really cool glitch with that game. A Sunday night is the Sunday night ranch simulator multiplayer stream. Max playing ranch sim, we're going to be doing building a cat tower, a weird cat tower. Not too big, not too crazy, something simple but kind of tall. And we're going to buy as many cats as we can before the game either crashes or that the FPS just drops to where it's unplayable. I'll be making a copy of my save for that purpose. So I won't lose it, but yeah, we'll have that. We'll buy just truckloads and truckloads of cats, and just load a tower up uh, area up and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be hilarious. Be a lot of dead cats around. More. Uh, I would say something. There's a word I want to use, but I'm not gonna say it. But some weird southern thing blocking me from saying it. I don't know what it is. Just, I don't know. Anyways, guys, what do y'all think? Are y'all excited? Do y'all like this new update? Um, I know we're all hoping they fix back the uh, interaction issues. But guys, if y'all liked this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And slap the notification bell for future videos coming out. Just like this one. Y'all, y'all have an awesome day.